When you've invested in quality suits, shoes, and knitwear, the number one thing you are probably most concerned with is how to preserve and protect those things so they last as long as possible. If you spent that money, you want this stuff to last. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five must-have wardrobe maintenance tools to help you do just that. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style, where we give you the information and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. Wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Duluth Trading Company and their Best Made brand for sponsoring this video. Duluth Trading Company is a premium American lifestyle brand and retailer of high quality apparel and adventure gear. They've evolved quite a bit and have added a number of other great brands to their collection, including Best Made, all that share their values of quality, craftsmanship, impeccable design, and making products that last. You know that these are all things that I care about and value as well with the purchases that I make. Nothing wrong with having high standards. And I wanna show you five items that I've picked up from them recently that are super nice pieces for your own personal collection or that make great gift ideas. First up is this short sleeve camp shirt, which has honestly become something of a summer uniform for me. It's a cotton linen blend, so super light and airy. I like the flow of it, which makes it very comfortable. It's got a single pocket and a camp collar, keeping it casual. And they say to order one size up, which I did and definitely recommend. Up next is a classic heather gray cotton crew neck athletic sweatshirt. Definitely a great casual staple to have in your wardrobe. It's got a brushed back fleeced interior for softness, a raglan sleeve construction for increased freedom of movement, and an extra long rib at the cuffs so it can be worn cuffed or uncuffed. Here we have a La Yola corkscrew and bottle opener combination. It's stainless steel with a matte finish. The handle is made with olive wood. It's got a folding corkscrew, bottle opener, and serrated blade, which makes it super easy to get the foil off a bottle of wine. And this is actually one of my favorite items to give as a housewarming gift. Next is a set of stainless steel cups along with a cowhide leather carrier so that you're always prepared when traveling or out on an adventure. And then finally, you know that I kind of have a thing for flashlights and we've got this super nice brass flashlight here. Great size, fits right in the hand feels substantial and looks great to boot. Links to all these products as well as to Duluth Trading Company are down below in the description. Wardrobe maintenance tool number one is a fabric brush. This is something you use to keep your suits and sport coats free of dirt and dust. Now, you may be asking, what about a lint roller? And as someone with a long haired German Shepherd dog, I totally feel you on this. A lint roller is a good, effective, short-term solution, but it's not the best option for your nicest suits and sport coats. What makes a lint roller work and so effective is the sticky adhesive. But each time you use it, you can actually leave a small amount of that adhesive residue on the fabric, which can have the effect of attracting more dust over time. So that's why for long-term care and preservation, a fabric brush is going to be a better option. When you use a fabric brush, the bristles of the brush actually get deep into the fibers, getting rid of any embedded dirt or dust. In terms of when to use a fabric brush, I recommend a quick once over in the morning before putting your clothing on, just to get rid of any dust that's settled on it. And then again, at the end of the day, before hanging your suit or sport coat up to get anything out of it that may have collected throughout the day. Personally, I like to start at the top with the shoulders and then move down to the lapels. Next, I'll do the sleeves. And then finally, the body of the jacket. Up next, wardrobe maintenance tool number two are shoe trees. Now, I'm gonna be the first to admit here that early on in my style journey, Taking care of my shoes was not top of mind. When I did my shoe collection video, so many people were all over me for the fact that I had obviously not properly cared for many of my shoes, and particularly that I had not used shoe trees. So I'm hoping that by including this that you will not make the same mistake that I did early on. So shoe trees are devices that are shaped like your foot that are meant to be placed inside your shoes when you're not wearing them. And they serve two very important purposes. Number one is to help your shoes keep their shape and avoid creasing in the leather. And number two is to absorb moisture, which helps fight and prevent odors. Now, when we're talking about moisture in a leather shoe, not only does that contribute to odors, 
but it can also have a negative impact on the shape of the shoe. And the telltale sign of this is where you see the toe box of the shoe actually start to curve upwards. But by using shoe trees to help keep the shape of the shoe, this is very easy to counteract. Shoe trees come in a variety of materials with the most common being plastic and wood. Plastic, while cheaper and lighter, doesn't help fight odors or absorb any moisture. So they're really only doing half the job, which is why I recommend using cedar shoe trees. Now you'll sometimes see wooden shoe trees with a nice glossy finish, which might look nice, but when you have a finished wood like this, it will not have the same moisture absorption of an unfinished wood. So always best to stick with wooden shoe trees that are unfinished. In an ideal world, you'd have shoe trees for all your shoes, but that's not possible, it can be kind of expensive invest in at least one nice set and use them in the shoes that you've just worn. Keep them in for at least 24 hours and then use them in whatever pair of shoes you wear next. Wardrobe maintenance tool number three is a sweater shaver. Now, there's nothing better than when you first get a new sweater, especially if it's cashmere, and it looks perfect and brand new. But you know that as you wear it over time, it will start to pill up. It can be tempting to try and pull these off with your fingers, especially if there are just a few, but this is a bad idea. If you do that, you're going to actually loosen and degrade the fabric further, which will result in the garment not lasting as long. That's why I like to use a sweater shaver, which just gently glides over the fabric and removes all the fuzz and pills without pulling on the fabric and leaves your sweaters looking honestly, almost brand new. And if you've ever used one of these, there's just something like so satisfying about the process of doing this. So you have that as well as the main point of it, which is to keep your sweaters looking good and like the very first time you wore them. Wardrobe maintenance tool number four is a garment steamer. Now you may be wondering, well, isn't it okay to just use an iron? And in some instances, an iron is actually preferred over a steamer, especially for shirts and trousers where you wanna have that really sharp crease. However, when it comes to jackets, a steamer is the way to go. It is the simplest and safest way to remove wrinkles from jackets in pretty much any fabric. In addition to that, as you know, you wanna try and minimize as much as possible the amount of times that you are laundering your suits or sport coats or bringing them to the dry cleaner. Dry cleaning is actually really terrible for fabric. Sometimes there's no other option if you have a really bad stain, for example. And using a steamer is a great way to freshen up your garments between trips to the dry cleaner. There are different types of garment steamers out there and most of them are generally very affordable. You'll see ones that sit on the ground that have a hanger attached to them, which is really nice and super easy to use. And then there are small handheld travel versions, which are a really great option as they don't take up much space and are very affordable. Wardrobe maintenance tool number five, wooden hangers. Particularly when we are talking about suit jackets and sport coats, you need to have the proper hanger so the garment keeps its shape and doesn't get misshapen. Wooden hangers are more durable than wire or plastic hangers. And for your suit jackets and sport coats, you wanna look for a hanger that has a wide arm down to the shoulder and that has a little bit of contour. This is going to help maintain that shoulder shape over time. It's gonna keep the collar from being misshapen and by holding it in the proper position, it's going to ensure that it never stretches out. So there you have it. Those are my five must have wardrobe maintenance tools. If you've invested in your wardrobe, these are the things you absolutely need to keep your wardrobe looking great longer. Thanks again to Duluth Trading Company and their best made brand for sponsoring this video. Reminder that links to all the Duluth Trading Company best made products featured in this video are down below in the description.